So it's been around two months since DaBaby had to cancel a show in New Orleans after only being able to sell around 500 tickets in a 14,000 seat venue. And it's also been around a month since his new album went triple toilet paper roll out here in these digital streets. It's no secret that delights have been going out on DaBaby's career for at least the last year or so. And so when this news broke, I don't think anyone was necessarily surprised. At the end of the day, DaBaby was a lightning in the bottle gimmick rapper. His music doesn't have much replay value because most of it sounds the same. And in my opinion, he was really not built for mainstream longevity in the first place. If we're being honest, most artists are not. And what you really have to hope for as a rapper, or really just a musician in general, is that you can garner a cult-like fan base who supports everything you do. I'm talking about sharing your new music, buying tickets to your concerts, buying physical copies like CDs or vinyls when you release a new album, and of course, copying merchandise. This all enables you to work more freely, and in a lot of ways not have to rely on dropping music or doing meme antics online all the time to try and keep your name relevant. Because with the way people consume digital entertainment these days, for some of these guys, if they aren't constantly being thrown in the consumer's face, their career will literally die. Tie-in label deadlines, it basically loans these artists take as advances and it's really all a recipe for disaster. To be honest, this must be an insanely tough situation to be in, because at one time you're this young kid on top of the world, you're accomplishing all your dreams, and it really seems like no one can tell you shit, you're getting so much free promotion every single day, all these different artists want to work with you, the older rappers want to harness your powers, they want to harness your clout, and then you slowly start to see those numbers decrease, the streams, the people who want to work with you, and most importantly, the money. And I'm I'm sure your brain naturally enters a state of panic, a state of desperation to cling on to what you have, and possibly this new persona that you have created. And for a lot of these guys in the modern era, they simply do not have the catalog, they do not have the body of work to build that cult-like fanbase. And if you aren't Bryson Tiller, or Frank Ocean, or a Kendrick type of artist, nobody is going to be waiting years for your new music, and you will quickly be forgotten. I mean, look at someone like Ice Spice who has to be the hottest new rapper right now with only two or three songs. I promise you in two to three years she will be a forgotten rapper turned to OnlyFans girl. I promise you the pipeline is too real. And that kind of brings me into the main story of this video where DaBaby has been selling his tickets buy one get one free aka BOGO, to try and pack the venues for his shows. I mean, for $28, that's like 14 bucks a person, you can hear the Spongebob soundtrack live. I think that's pretty good. So of course people were clowning the baby for this, and in response he posted a video of a show he did in Boston where the crowd looked lit. He also posted this video to seemingly troll everyone who claims he fell off. Hey yo, pop in your leg. I was at the top and I fell off. <laughs> Help me up, nigga. Help me. Help me up, I fell off. Good? This shit look like I hurt. <laughs> A little stiff. A little stiff. And to me, this is how you know the comments are actually getting to him. Because as you guys know, in every joke there is just a little hint of truth. And if I'm being honest, this little cell phone light thing that artists like to do now at their shows is very deceiving. I went to a concert a couple months ago, maybe 4,000 people in the crowd. And when I watched the video back from the artist's perspective with the phones, you would have thought there was like 20,000 people up in that place. But still you need to understand that this is not a smoke perp or a little Xan situation where an embarrassing amount of people are showing up to these shows. To my knowledge, ever since he scaled back the tour after having to cancel that show in the massive New Orleans arena, he's really had no problem in these smaller venues. I actually went to check out the ticket sales on other cities that he was performing in, and they ranged from sold out to at least I would say 75% of the tickets were gone. With these venues ranging from 1 to about 3,000 seats, 
Pets. This is obviously a far cry from the Smoke Perps of the world, who is damn close to performing at Red Lobster for his next event. At least a baby can still draw the BOGO crowd. Smoke Perp could literally give tickets away to his next concert, and still no one would show up. I guess I just want to throw the baby some bail here because he is getting clowned endlessly for this BOGO sale. Don't get me wrong, two years from now if we check back in he might be selling 1 to 200 tickets. But for now, he's not doing too bad considering all the people who have essentially ran him off. I would really compare his fall off to the likes of Chance the Rapper, someone who everyone seemed to like at one time. He got lots of mainstream opportunities at his peak, but now he's mainly just a joke or remembered for his former music. Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. Are you still checking for the baby? Have you been playing his new album when you go to one of his shows? I want to know down below in the comments. As always, I also want to thank you guys for watching today's video dropping a like and subscribing but as you guys know it's been your boy the tan superman and there's some other rappers out here that need to be covered so i'm out peace